On the island of Sodor, high up in the mountains was a mysterious boulder. It had stood alone for a long time. But one day workmen arrived to build a quarry on the land below. Rusty, the little diesel, met Thomas and Percy that day. Where's all this rock coming from? asked Percy. The new quarry, replied Rusty. This mountain rock is good for many things, although it's dangerous up there. Why? asked Thomas. Because of a big boulder, I think it's watching me, replied Rusty. How can that be? Boulders don't have eyes. That may be, Percy, but there's something strange about this one. Just then, Edward arrived. He was delivering a new piece of machinery for the quarry. Rusty gazed at it in surprise. What's that? he asked. It's called Thumper, replied Edward. Apparently it helps collect the rock faster. Soon, Thumper was working hard. This was its first day working at a quarry, and it wanted to prove itself. It was doing a good job, but the men were so pleased that no one bothered to check on the boulder. When it rained, the workmen went away. Rusty gazed up at the boulder and shivered. Suddenly, a large slab of rock landed on the rails. Rusty was shocked, and the driver was concerned. We'd best leave till the weather's better, Rusty. The rain's loose in some of this rock. I think it's Boulder wanting us to go away. The next day, the sun shone. Thumper was working harder than ever. Suddenly, Rusty noticed something. Boulder's moving! Don't be so daft, it can't, said the driver. But it could, and it did. It's rolling along our line! We'll stop here until Boulder passes by, said the driver. But Boulder was nowhere to be seen. Then, oh no, Rusty, it's behind us! Just ahead, they saw a small junction. One line went uphill. Boulder thundered past. Meanwhile, Scarlowy was making his way up to the quarry. Then he saw Boulder. Help! Boulder was catching up fast. Just then, Rusty arrived. He'd followed the boulder close behind and had seen everything that had happened to Scarlowy. We must warn the yards, called Scarlowy. Yes, but how? Boulder rounded a bend and there ahead was Reneus. It's running loose, yelled Reneus. His driver drove him back as fast as he could. Hurry! Rather a smash than a squash, sighed his driver. At the yards, Percy was collecting trucks. Then he heard Boulder. Oh no, it's heading straight for me, squeaked Percy. Percy was speechless, but felt rather relieved all the same. When Sir Topham had inspected the damage, he decided to close the mine. Then he looked at Boulder. We should have left this part of the island alone. They moved Boulder to a hill close by the yards. Rusty is sure that on a clear night it is gazing up at the mountain, and that its sides are being carried by the wind to where it once used to stand, proud and silent. I wonder if Rusty is right. Don't you?